For the sixth consecutive week, the New York Jets' Mike LaFleur and Zach Wilson failed to score a point in the first quarter of their game against the New England Patriots in Foxborough on Sunday. The Jets recorded a three and out on their opening drive of the game before missing a field goal on the second. It's been an ongoing concern for the Jets and I don't think Mike LaFleur did a great job adapting and adjusting coming off of the bye week. So let's break down the All-22 together. I'll show you what he did well, some of his shortcomings and break down the New York Jets offense. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and look, let's jump straight into it. We're going to start with the first series of the game and it was ultra disappointing. Mike LaFleur came out in 21 personnel, something we've seen way too much, and he decides to run the football on the first two downs. First snap, we see a split action run, something that continues to fail. You see two of the interior linemen get beaten. It goes nowhere, gets blown up for a one-yard gain. Nothing there. You'd think, okay, let's let Zach Wilson air it out now. Let's get ahead of the sticks. He comes back with an outside zone. Again, asks way too much of Connor McGovern on this play. He's going to kind of bump off through the double team, absorb that, and then get to Bentley, the inside linebacker. He can't do it. It's a minimal game. And the Jets are in a third and long to start the game. Mike LaFleur said in a press conference he wanted to ease Zach Wilson into the game, you know, get his feet wet. Running the ball twice doesn't do that. And you can say, look, he wasn't trying to get one and two yards on those first two runs. He thought they were better plays than that. They didn't work. They weren't effective. And now his quarterback's opening throw of the game is a third and long. Let's talk about this play because I actually think Zach Wilson did the right thing. His eyes and recognition was really good on the play. The Patriots are running a nickel blitz. It's coming from the top of the screen. You're going to see it's man coverage. Zach Wilson does a really nice job identifying it right here, sets his feet. He's in a position to throw the wheel to Jamison Crowder. But conceptually, this isn't ready for the blitz. Zach Wilson wants to go there. Jamison Crowder isn't aware that Zach Wilson's hot. He isn't looking back. And as we let it roll again, you see Jamison Crowder doesn't look back until about here. And right now, the play is dead. Zach Wilson's buried. But I just want to say that Zach Wilson did a nice job with his recognition, understood with his feet in alignment where to go with the football. It wasn't there. It's a three and out for the Jets, and it was a terrible start to the game. What I wanted to show you next was another area of concern because it didn't really change after the bye, and that's what Michael LaFleur called on first down. In the first quarter, his first down calls have been poor. They're unable to sustain drives, and it's been a reoccurring theme and issue. This is the second first down, and it's actually the only time in the first quarter that the Jets pass the football on first down. They run a little RPO. Zach Wilson keeps the ball. The idea here for Ryan Griffin, the tight end on the right side of the formation, is to try and trap that defensive end and squeeze him inside. Doesn't do a good enough job. Zach Wilson gets flushed and now isn't able to make a play. Puts the ball where only his receiver can make it, but unfortunately goes out of bounds. Nothing Zach Wilson can do there, just poor execution, which is something we hear talked about time and time again from the Jets coaching staff. But I'll run you off now the next three first downs, the last three first downs the Jets had in the first quarter. Just running plays, simple running plays, and every time it's Michael Carter scrapping and scraping for every single yard, another split action, gets hit behind the line of scrimmage, is able to bounce out, pick up four yards, but they're just running the ball on first down. They have been the least pass-heavy team on first down in the first quarter, and they've been the worst and least efficient team in the first quarter. There's no surprise. That's the reason why Mike LaFleur needs to be more aggressive, and that's how he can protect Zach Wilson by getting ahead of the sticks. But it certainly wasn't all doom and gloom for the Jets. I thought Mike LaFleur actually took some great steps forward. And one of the ways he did that was by opening up the field, clarifying the reads for Zach Wilson by going empty more, especially out of shotgun. What that allows him to do, identify man coverage. You put someone in motion, you bump out the running back, you can identify and clear up that pitcher. This was an example of that. It was poorly executed. Have a look at the offensive line. Connor McGovern, Elijah Verataka do a terrible job picking up this stunt on the inside. Zach Wilson flushed out of the pocket but you see there's a little whip route they open up space with Jameson Crowder but Zach Wilson has a guy at his feet diving at him on his release he short arms it in the end through look no fault of his own I don't blame this play on Zach Wilson but I like conceptually what Michael LaFleur was trying to do he put quick man beating routes on the field Another example of progress for the offense, what's something I've been screaming about on this channel for three or four weeks in a row now, get Elijah Moore touches. He's only had one design touch of the football through the first five games of the season, and this was a little one-man screen, something we see the Packers and Michael Fleur brother do a ton for Devontae Adams. 
Zach Wilson under center, identifies man coverage, and just allows his guy to go and make a play. Look how good this dude is one-on-one in the space. Makes him miss, keeps his balance, recovers, and turns it into a 14, 15 yard gain. It's that simple. Get the ball in this man's hands more. You see the design touchdown later on when he comes on that end around. That was progress, but it's still not enough. We need more of that from Mike LaFleur. And then this was another example of shotgun clarifying the picture. You're going to see a little out route. This is very obviously man coverage for Zach Wilson. He does a great job identifying that, realizing that you've got off coverage. Zach Wilson pre-snap identifies, recognizes, gets ready, quick release, sees the off coverage and the safety on the running back and is able to make that throw to Ty Johnson on third down. Again, make it easy for your quarterback. Put him in shotgun, empty the backfield, play more 11 personnel, loosen up the box. That's what Michael LaFleur did better. It was just a little too late into that first quarter. But then again, every time the Jets look like they're taking a step forward, they're making improvements, you see another error and putting players in poor positions that don't really match their skill set. And that's what's been concerning for me through the first six games of the season. That's why I've been so critical of Mike LaFleur. This is a little two-on-two screen. They try to throw it here to Jamison Crowder, but he's asking Elijah Moore, a small, inefficient blocker, to cover outside leverage, get out in front and try and make a play. He's got no angle. He's got no chance of making this play. And it's not the strength of his game. You've got guys like Corey Davis and Denzel Mims. You can utilize them for this exact reason. I don't like putting Elijah Moore in this position. It's not what he does well. And it's just not a well thought out design. I don't like where he put the players on the field and he's got to do a better job. So that's my quick evaluation of Michael LaFleur and the offense in the sixth game of the season against the New England Patriots. He did some things a lot better. I loved the empty. Halfway through the second quarter, he started running more 11 personnel. He used Elijah Moore in motion a little more. He got him two design touches, but then there were plenty of things I didn't like. The first series of the game, it just wasn't good enough. I didn't like the thinking. I didn't like the logic. Four times out of five on first down, he ran the football. I don't like that. I didn't like the screen call to Jameson Crowder. I didn't like the 12 personnel heavy in the start of the first quarter. Things to work out, things to improve, but it's not going to matter much for the next month of the season. Zach Wilson's on the shelf, but Mike LaFleur has to be better, has to keep continuing to make these changes to get the Jets offense where it needs to be.